So I saw Tyler Perry's For Color Girls, and I'm gonna tell you the things I loved and hated about it. The thing I loved the most, all the black women on screen, the most ever, I think it was nine or 10 um, black women on screen and all their beautiful glory. Felicia Rashad was beautiful. Kerry Washington, Anika Noni Rose, Loretta Devine, Whoopi Goldberg, the light skinned girl, um, Michael Jackson. Uh, it was just fantastic to see all those colored women on stage, black women, African American film, women on film. I love that about the movie. The acting was fantastic. Felicia Rashad, again, outstanding from beginning to end. Um, Anika Noni Rose had a really, really good monologue. Loretta Devine's best work. Uh, Michael Jackson did okay too. I was really happy with what he did. Um, not a huge Tandy Newton fan in that movie. Uh, Tandy didn't really, uh, didn't really like her character that much, um, but she did her best. Um, and I also like the cinematography. Tyler did a great job um, weaving in from scene to scene. That uh, movie didn't look like a play at all. So I was really proud of uh, Tyler for that. Things I hated about it, the foreshadowing. <coughs> I have AIDS. Come on. Is that how you get AIDS? <coughs> I've been coughing like that for three weeks. I don't got AIDS. At least I don't think. I never had a test. I never really had a ticket. <coughs> I've got AIDS. Uh, another thing I didn't like, it was so over the top, man. Tyler with his over the top, I always not a big fan of that. Um, the guy dropped his kids off the thing. That's about to make me cry. That's too much in a movie. Just too much for me. And if you do that and that, just that, that's the only thing, okay. But then you got uh, Michael Jackson's husband was gay and then he gives her AIDS. <coughs> That's how we knew we had AIDS because the foreshadowing was just horrible. Um, the rape scene was super, super intense. Uh, it was pretty long for a rape scene. It wasn't really, it was really uncomfortable to watch after a while. Uh, super, super long. And the last thing I hated was Kimberly Lisa's cry. I'm not a big fan of Kimberly Lisa's cry. I just ever since set it off. <gasps> Frankie! <laughs> I need that money! <laughs> and then in John Q, do something, John! Do something! Yeah. And then Diary Mad Black Women, ah, yeah. And then in this, my baby's blood! Out of respect! <laughs> I just don't like Kimberly Lisa's cry, although she was fantastic at acting. Overall, I'll give it a six out of 10. It was Tyler Perry's best movie to me. To me, it was his best movie. Overall movie, six out of 10. For Color Girls, go see it.